Adventure time! Which and prank call time. And this week... I'm going to call the Brisbane City Council because we got this thing called Curbside Collection. And it's dangerous, man. It's People could... It's trip hazard. Yeah, it's going to genuinely... Fires in it. Genuinely complain because... I don't want to see people hurting themselves. And it's just, it's rubbish on the street that shouldn't be on the street. That's the agree. And I'm going to be doing it as Dakota, our beloved vegan. Nothing uh, wrong with vegans. No, a, 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 what, what would you call Activist. people oh, no, like that? SJW, social justice yeah. warrior. Yeah. Social justice yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I am. <laughs> All right, I should probably put my phone on private just in case the Brisbane City Council... Let's get down. Hates me. Imagine if, like, somehow they fucking, like, found out who I was, cunt, and, like, cut off my fucking power and that. Oh, 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 fuck oh, off, oh. Hey, seriously. Well, they didn't, like, nah, wait, that they could didn't happen, cut cunt. the grass at your local park. That could happen, cunt. They'd get out of control. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's cut down. Hey. Thank you for calling the Brisbane City Council. Calls may be recorded for quality yeah, good. purposes and we may need to collect your personal information. Uh, no, you won't be doing that, thank you. To help us improve our service delivery to you. To learn about our privacy policy, visit... <laughs> I already know your privacy policy off the heart. QLD.GOV.AU <laughs> Good afternoon, Brisbane City Council. This is Sharon. Uh, hello, Sharon. Um, my name's um, Dakota and before we start, um, can I just like make sure that nothing gets recorded or, or whatever that thing said at the start of the call? Just said to mention like if yeah. I don't want it um, recorded in that. Because it's quite a private um, okay. issue. I've stopped the recording. That's Th all good. Thank you so much, Sharon. Um, look, I'm just calling. Pleasure. I'm just I'm calling in regards to um, you know, like curbside collection and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, um, just around my neighbourhood um, a few weeks ago, like some of the curbside um, stuff out on the streets was sort of um, creeping out onto the footpath and it was actually becoming um, quite dangerous. And I, I saw at least um, three or four people trying to walk along the footpath and like they had to like go around it. Do you know what I mean? Like they had to actually stop. And like and look up and then like veer to the left and make like a semicircle around the objects and like okay. i didn't see anyone trip but i just thought like you know that's actually pretty dangerous do you know what i mean like and i'm just trying to like think of others um because you know that's just how i am but also um like i realized that like some of the paint on some of the furniture and stuff is like coming off onto the grass and that's actually i don't know if you know much about um like ch chemicals and stuff um but yeah, that can actually kill the grass. <laughs> so, like, yeah. Okay. So, this is this has occurred in the past, has it? What was that? Sorry? This was in the past. It's not happening right now. Look, it happened a few weeks ago, um, but okay. I, I just was driving to work today and I noticed some curbside collection um, driving to work and it was the same issue, like driving through a completely different suburb and there was like tables and stuff. Like I, th I think I saw like a table partially on, on the footpath. Do you know what I mean? Like, so like, I, I don't know what to, like I'm, I'm panicking nearly just thinking, imagine if, imagine if a blind person or something like that or a deaf person or something or someone disabled or something like that was walking along and and like fell over or something do you know what i mean like that's crazy especially with magpie season so are you wanting me to put through an obstruction on the footpath i think i think what i'm trying to do is just sort of make you guys aware that maybe um curbside isn't the right way to maybe go about things and like maybe think about the environment and that because like maybe for you guys and your generation it's okay but for my generation coming through in about 20 30 years Trust me, we're going to be feeling these environmental damages. And yeah, it just seems like people that are older don't really get that. And like, it's really starting to stress me out a little bit. Do, do you sort of know what I, where I'm coming from there or? So do you want me to put in a report, an issue or a complaint about curbside collection? Actually, that would be great if you could do that. And if you could maybe send that to like the head person, like, because if you send that to someone under the head person, like it'll probably just get thrown in the bin or something because I've had to do these reports before. Like I had the same complaint last year for curbside and wouldn't you know it, curbside happened again this year, even though I complained and it was a formal complaint and all of that. Even though I did that, curbside still is happening and I'm starting to freak out. Do you know what I mean? Okay, just to let you know that it's probably going to be more than one person to stop curbside collection. So much as I understand your complaint, it wouldn't just have take one person to stop the whole of Brisbane having curbside collection. Well, what's the point be, of the reports then if my reports do we nothing? Can still, we can still put the report through. I just want you to know 
that if you if we don't take your details, we can't contact you and tell you the result of the request. Because right. you mentioned you don't want your details to be passed on. And and, so and, and like just for the like the environment stuff. To someone. With yeah. the with the environment, do you know do you know what I'm saying about that? Like because like I, honestly, sometimes okay. sometimes a mattress or something will sit on the grass and like the grass becomes like a bit yellow and that and like. Dogs and stuff need to eat grass to live. Like, the, the people need to eat that grass, and so do animals. So, like, it's just so bad for the environment. And the toxins and stuff, they get washed off and run into the gutters, and then you can imagine the fish fire trying to inhale fire, that. Like, that's not that's not good for anything or anyone. Do, do you know what I'm sort of trying to say there? Or Yes, yeah, I understand where you're coming from. But what yeah. I'm trying to say to you is for me to put this through and you to get a response, we'll need to take your details. I'm not comfortable and, um, with you guys taking my details okay. just because I know no, my not. privacy laws and, and I'm... Okay, well, let me just interrupt you for a moment and sure, explain. Sure. If I don't take your details, I will put the complaint through, but there's no way you'll know the response. I can't contact you and say, hey, well, an by apology. the way, I've got a response. You won't know because we haven't got your details. So, yes, your complaint will be passed on, but you won't ever know what we have to tell you. Well, I'll, so, so I'll know the response because next year, if curb tides on again, I'll, that, that will be your response. I'll know that you guys have just thrown my report straight in the bin, even though I've just told you about all of the environmental issues that can happen and all about, all about the disabled people could be falling over and breaking their limbs and God knows what else and even hurt okay. their heads. They could even hurt their heads. With any changes to any policy within council, like a curbside collection, we would need more than one person to affect the whole of Brisbane, a very large city. One person would not make it a difference without contacting you to talk to you about it. So maybe and I should start pro we, protesting or something. Is that what you're saying? Like maybe I should no, get some I'm not more people. Not at all. I'm just saying, if you want a if you want to talk to somebody about this, I'll need to take your details. Need to if I put it through anonymously, I can't tell you what the answer is. I don't know the answer. I've given I'm, only gonna, I'm only the person on the phone giving you information that I can transfer to to the waste team. Look, Sharon, I totally understand where you're coming from, okay? But I, the, okay. I've, I've, given, I've given you my first name, and that's all I'm willing to do just because of privacy laws and everything and also storing my information and et cetera, et cetera. I don't want okay. – I'm not comfortable with that at the no, moment. No, that's all right. I just so. want you to know I, I'm happy to put the request through, but it's not necessarily going to stop curbside collection. I understand. So I, I feel like you're trying okay. to, like – you're trying to tell me like to protest and stuff so no I'll, no not at all i'm not telling you anything please do not put words in my mouth because i'm well, not saying you that. sort of said that I'm, one person isn't going to make a difference so i'm sort of I'm sort of guessing from that, that that i need a group a large no, group of people to protest the streets about curbside no, i'm not saying that i'm just saying that one person is not you going sort to of are, so. one complaint is not going to change curbside collection for the whole of brisbane exactly let me get the details and I'll put the request through and pass it on. I don't want you to expect curbside collection to stop, though. That's what I'm trying to prepare you for. Okay, well, that's so just, uh, yeah, it's just crazy. I just I don't understand how I'm the only one doing this. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy. I see paint okay. paint on the grass and stuff. It's All just right. nuts. So what's the it's crazy where we need this for? So um, in some of the north side suburbs is where I'm I specifically... Need an address. I can't just put north side suburbs because my system needs a street number and a street name. Okay, Aspley. Let's start with Aspley. And the street name? Um, I'm not. I'm not sure of the street names. I can drive past and find that out for you because I can remember where it was exactly. But um, again, yeah, street names and stuff. I'm just not comfortable saying over the phone um, because um, you know, with privacy laws, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and information storing and stuff. I just can't do that. So okay. So I need to advise you that the council has no record of the property if we haven't got a street name. We need a number and a street name. I'm sorry. I can't put it through without that. Thank you for apologizing. Well, well Sharon, thank you. No First of all, thank you for apologizing um, for on behalf of the Brisbane City Council. But um, look, with the street names and stuff, look, maybe, maybe, look, maybe I will just have to send, send some text messages and try and go to universities and rally some um, students and maybe see if um, we can all put in a big report together, like something like that, and um, see if we can make something happen there because this is one of the biggest issues in the world and no one is even talking about it. I see on the news... 24 7 coronavirus this coronavirus that but no one is talking about curbside and how dangerous it is for deaf and blind people and people in wheelchairs okay. and also the environment you can't think about the environment when you're putting dirt putting rubbish on the grass 
I'm sorry I can't proceed any further with this. That's okay. Look, Sharon, you've done the best you can. And honestly, like seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. Like honestly, even just you listening to me, I feel a little bit better. So thank you so much for that. But yeah, I'm just letting you know that, yeah, that what is going on is incredibly selfish from this Brisbane City Council. And like, yeah, the environment is suffering a great deal. So we need to sort of put a stop to that. But don't worry. I'll I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. You'll you'll be hearing from me again. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Well, you take good care, won't you? No worries. Sharon, you have a lovely evening, okay? And you. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. Bye, Sharon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I fucking hate her. So hard to listen to. She is such... Not Sharon. Dakota. Why? <laughs> I don't know, man, but she grinds my gears. I'd still do it. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god you're fucking me you're fucking me you're fucking me you're fucking me it hurts please stop that's what it would be like i don't shave anything my breasts are hairier than my head <laughs> oh dude anyway that's the fucking prank call and a cat on the back and a big round of applause because everybody's here Everybody's here today. Great work. Also, guys, there's a fucking secret. There's a secret on the table. Who can guess what's out of place? Comment below. Don't forget to comment and share and like the video. Show it to your friends and neighbors and everything else that happens. Don't forget to subscribe to the website if you want, like to see us shit. And if you want, buy some Manscaped shit, all right? Man, fuck hell. Look at this. We have virus (laughs) Virus. in a test tube and we have Michael's armpit hair in a wax ball. Yeah. All of it. That's crazy, man. We're the best. 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 Oh, all right. Fucking hell, man. That was a long one. Yeah, I had to try and end it. She was being too like too persistent. Yeah, she's too being helpful. Too, too helpful. Too to kind. Honest. Good at her job. I can't believe she didn't fire up a bit more, eh? Oh, she did a little. Oh, 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 I wish she fired up a bit more. She eh? did a little where she was like, "Don't, don't put words in my oh, mouth. Yeah. <laughs> don't put words in my mouth. Shut up, Sharon. <laughs> 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 you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, Sharon. You handled that very well. Yeah. I gotta go home. I'll best. see you guys later. Exactly. He's bounding backwards now. I can see him out the door. Oh, he's seen someone. He's hiding in the bushes. Pregnant. <laughs>